So are you like me and still waiting for certain free agents to be signed to figure out what's going on in the 2021 season? Yes, it's frustrating, but is it par for the course? Is this what we're used to? Should all these free agents be signed by now? Well, that's what this video is about today. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into when and how they've been signed in the past. Baseball News Club presents When Do Free Agents Sign? Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm going to need you to go ahead and subscribe, follow us, comment, and please like the video. Thank you. First and foremost, we want to thank all of our followers on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. We have 265 followers on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000. And I got to tell you, I've never had a channel before. And on the daily or whenever we post videos, the comments we get, how much you guys love the content, all the neat things you say and motivational statements you make to us, we sincerely appreciate it. And we thank you very much for all of your support. Now, I'm not a young YouTuber that's all cute and has everyone following me. I'm 50 years old, but I got a ton of uh, baseball history experience. So hopefully that translates in the videos that you like. Now, Twitter, for the life of me, damn it, I cannot figure out how to grow Twitter. I've been trying and I've pretty much given up, but I still post to it. But Instagram is our main location. If you haven't joined Instagram, we highly suggest it. We put daily stories on there, 724, 365. So you know what's going on in baseball. We're always trying to put news up for you in all of our videos. And that's primarily where I'm at on the daily. So again, happy holidays. Thank you very much for your support. So the World Series is over and it's the baseball offseason. What do you do? What do you do with your time? This is where Major League Baseball struggles with their fan base. Need to attract fans in the offseason. It's very busy. So what do you got going on? Well, you got the deadline for free agents, the Rule 5 draft, winter meetings. You got awards. You got deadlines for arbitration on January 15th. And then also the international signing periods and then spring training February 27th. But in between that, what are you doing? You know, there's you're just sitting around waiting for free agents to be signed. And the frustrating part is the way the major league operates. You don't know what's going on with these behind the doors deals that are potentially going on. So it makes it even more boring for you. But what we want to do is take you back to the future. We want to show you the timeline when players got signed in the past. Now, 2020 has been weird with the pandemic. It's been an odd season, to say the least. Fans are just waiting to hear their signing so they can be excited about the next season. Now, with the short season, there's been a lot of monetary changes, financial changes for these teams. They're not spending money like they used to, and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that with a little quick timeline. The first one is the Mookie Betts trade. That didn't happen until February 10th. That is actually very late in the whole progress of teams trading and signing free agents. Then you had like Manuel Margot on February 8th. Uh, Nick signed with the Reds on January 27th, which is kind of late. And then when you look at Marcel, he signed on January 21st. So we're still a ways away from seeing some big names sign, but I'm assuming in the next 30 days we're going to see more. January 14th, we saw Josh Donaldson sign a big contract for the Twins. So that's still like 30 days away from today. Uh, we also saw Randy Rosarina trade, which nobody paid attention to. Now, January 6th, uh, Shogo signed with the Reds. So that was kind of, you know, late in the whole process. And then you had a bunch of them before that. You had January 6th, Eric Thames, Starlin Castro on the 4th, 2nd, Will Harris, and then a Christmas gift, Edwin and Canarcion, and then Cole Calhoun on the 24th. And then Toronto fans are going to remember this. Rue signed on the 22nd of December. So that's like another week plus away from today. Uh, 21st, Dallas signed. The 19th, Julio signed. 16th, Wade Miley signed. And then Garcia on the 16th. And then Madison Bumgarner, which is a bad deal with the Diamondbacks thus far, signed on the 15th of December, which is one day from today. And then Corey Kluber, also on the 15th with the Delano de Shields. And then on December 11th, Anthony Rendon. So again, with the uncertainty with the pandemic and the future of Major League Baseball, this is why we're seeing delayed signings. Uh, because again, last year, Tanner on the 11th signed. And then everyone remembers this on December 10th last year. Cole signed a big contract with the Yankees, and we're not seeing those signings just yet. Um, Diddy signed on the 10th, and then Steven Strasburg signed on the 9th, a big contract with the Nationals. So I think the owners are just holding their cards close to their chest until the pandemic kind of pans out a little bit more. Um, you had Zach Wheeler on the 4th. That was a great signing for Philadelphia. They were very pumped, if you remember that, during the holidays last year as a Philly fan. And then Cole Hamill signed a one-year deal on the 4th. Let's go further back. Mike signed on the second, four years with the Reds. And then on November 27th, Drew signed a four-year contract with the Padres. So you're thinking, well, what else was there? Does it go deeper down the rabbit hole? Yeah. 
November 22nd, Jose Abreu, great signing by the White Sox, MVP. They inked him on the contract. And then Grandel on November 21st. And Chapman on November 3rd, which is way early, right after the playoffs. Now in closing for all the baseball fans, I feel just like you. I feel like Grumpy Cat. It's been a very frustrating season. Um, free agency in the offseason has been very frustrating because none of the big players that are usually signed by now are, are being signed. And I think it's all attributed to the pandemic, the vaccines, if Major League Baseball is going to go 162. I think the owners are just holding the cards close to their chest until we determine all those other logistics. So I'm stating today, December 14th until January 15th, we're going to see some big signings, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's pushed to the end of January. We do have spring training coming up on February 27th, so very excited for the next season. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.